another aspect of plasmid it is partitioning and segregative stability so when cell divides its uh, nucleic acid that uh, included uh, bacterial chromosome or plasmid dna they are uh, segregated equally into the daughter cells but under some circumstances it cannot happen that during the course of cell division the plasmids they are not transferred from the parents to the daughter cells so if if the plasmid it is lost during the cell division so it is called as segregative instability that is plasmid it is not stably maintained in the uh, daughter cells so most of the plasmids that are natural they are stably maintained that is they are transferred into the daughter cells from the parents after subsequent cell division but for some plasmids it is not the case so i can quote here the example of a natural plasmids like whole e1 that is stably maintained the reason is that this stability or the segregation of the plasmids from the parents to the daughter cell it is controlled by the region of the plasmid which is called as partition or the uh, par region so if par region it is there then it can control the transfer or the segregation of the plasmids from parents to the daughter cells during cell division but it may be not the case if plasmid it is artificially synthesized and especially if lack the par region for example a plasmid pbr322 it is a derivative of col e1 and if the par region it is not introduced then the pbr322 it will be lost with subsequent cell division although pbr322 it is a high copy number plasmid but subsequent cell division result in its loss because there is no par region but on the other hand if the par region from another natural plasmids like psc 11 it is introduced into the artificially uh, formed or constructed plasmid like pbr322 then it can be stably transferred another factor that can mediate the segregation of the plasmids it is the superhelicity of the plasmid dna if it is present in superhelicity form then it can be stably uh, maintained in the daughter cells for example if mutants of psc 101 plasmid they are developed that lack superhelicity as compared to their wild counterpart then it cannot be st uh, stably maintained into the daughter cells so it indicates that another factor that is important it is the superhelicity of the plasmid in addition to that if we use some uh, dna gyrase inhibitors then uh, it can also result uh, in the plasmid instability and especially if uh, mutations they are introduced in those genes that encode dna uh, gyrase so these are different factors like the par region superhelicity of the dna and even uh, the mutations in the defective plasmids like psc11 it can also uh, mediate the instability of the plasmid so that they are not stably maintained in the daughter cells after subsequent cell division